First look at Android 12 Beta 5 from the Google Pixel 5 running on the Poco X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 12 Beta 5 from the Google Pixel 5 running on the Poco X3 Pro. So as you can see, security patch is from September 2021. The kernel they are using is Oxygen OS kernel and no custom kernels are not supported. The build number here is 5.2, which means this is your Android 12 Beta 5. Another way to figure out whether this is Android 12 Beta 5 or not is once you have enabled the Easter egg by tapping on the Android version if you go back into your widgets here and you will have a new widget called paint chips under Android s Easter egg if you bring this over to your home screen you can always expand it once you tap on it it is going to open all the colors which are being used in the current material you theme and if you tap on any of them you can of course copy the code and also share it in case you want to do that other than that, yes, you do have the new clock widgets as well. So if I go into widgets, bam, here it is. The four new Android 12 clock widgets available and working without any issues. Next up, Material U applications are being rolled out as I speak, but with Beta 5, you get the calculator application with Material U, which does have its own Easter egg. Similarly, the next app which got Material U was the clock application, and here it is. The animations when you switch between the different options are pretty great. If you try to set an alarm, you do get the new Material U UI over here as well. And similarly, the Material U UI is present in your volume panel in your quick settings panel it is everywhere here is how the settings look like again everything is pretty smooth with no jitters and no lags have a look at those android 12 animations aren't they pretty awesome next up if you press and hold on your home screen go into home settings you will notice a new section for at a glance but if you go into settings there are no options because this is a bug from google's end and similarly if you're wondering about the missing weather information in your at a glance that is another bug from google let us now go into wallpapers and style and as you can see this is how the ui is going to look like so you can change your accent colors you have wallpaper colors you also have basic colors in case you want to use those then you also have a toggle for dark theme let us enable this and have a look at the dark theme ui so here it is this is how the dark theme is going to look like everything looks pretty great you also have a toggle for themed icons so the icons in my home screen are right now themed and the ones in my app drawer are not themed i think this only applies for google apps for now which is why wallpapers and style does mention it as beta then you also have options for your grids as well but let us go ahead and change the wallpaper to something else let me go over to curated culture use this one because it is going to get us the green color and now if i have a look at my volume panel green quick settings green accent colors similarly if i try to open my applications all of them should adapt to this new material you so here it is let us open the clock application adapted to material you similarly if i open the calculator application you will notice this is also going to adapt to material you green equal to sign in the building working without any issues next thing they have added with android 12 beta 5 is system wide search so if i open my application drawer for starters you will notice that the search bar has been fixed the elegant circular edges are now back tap on the three dot menu you have the option of always show keyboard and once you enable this whenever you open your app drawer the material you themed google keyboard is going to open up and you can of course disable this if you go into preferences you can choose what all options you want to see in your search results shortcuts people settings and tips next up let us open the settings application have a look at that so this is how your settings app is going to look like in android 12. let us go into notifications so here and you do have your priority conversations notification history bubbles from android 11 is there do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now if you go into battery you do have your battery usage a toggle for battery percentage go into battery saver you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver enabled for this specific build if you go into display here and you do have adaptive brightness and 
brightness level go into lock screen you will see two new options of show wallet and show device controls so those of you who are controlling your smart devices from your android device and also using it to make payment once you enable these toggles you will see two icons on the bottom left and on the bottom right of your lock screen so that you can make payments and control your smart devices as for now playing this is broken and please do not enable this because you might have media lag issues once you enable it always on display is there works without any issues same applies for double tap to wake that thing also works and the animations are out of this world lift to check phone of course is broken on this specific build we already talked about dark theme and when you install this build for the first time make sure you change the display size if it looks too big to you i am using the small display size in this video then you also have smooth display once you enable this you are going to toggle between 60 and 120 based on the content so right now i am at 60 as can be seen on the top left and bam i just moved over to 120 so as per the developer those are the only two options 60 and 120 and if you disable this option of smooth display then it is going to stay at 60 all the time so again those of you who are looking for 120 it works without any issues we already talked about wallpapers and style with respect to security no face unlock don't even expect it fingerprint unlock is there works absolutely fine super fast but the only option you have is touch to unlock you do not have the customization of press to unlock then with respect to your system settings here and we can go into gestures quick tap or double tap on the back for some gestures is broken same applies for swipe fingerprint for notifications go into system navigation you have two different options gestures and three buttons if you want to customize your gestures you can of course change the sensitivity of the left edge and the right edge similarly you also have swipe to invoke assistant toggle then 100 mode is present once you enable it you can of course pull down over here to invoke your 100 mode or you can also create a shortcut in case you want to this floating button is going to appear and you can also use your volume keys in case you want to do that lift to check phone as i mentioned earlier is broken double tap to wake works and prevent ringing option is working without any issues next up with respect to gaming mode you're still not going to find it anywhere in the menus however if you search for game when you open your settings here and you will see something called game settings tap on this enable the game dashboard next thing how do you use it well very easy open any game and by that i mean any game and then you can quit the game by going back to your home screen and now open your recents open anything else you just open game settings and now if i go back to the game from my recents i have this arrow on the right hand side tap on this i have this controller tap on this controller bam there it is you can see this is my gaming mode and of course you can enable your screenshot option your screen recording option the fps is there so all these options are there you also have a button for do not disturb and of course this floating bar can be moved around and once it reaches the edge of the screen it is going to turn into a small arrow which does look pretty elegant and yes you can stream your gameplay by using google live from the game settings in case you want to do that next up with respect to safety net so safety net is not going to pass out of the box and the rom is not rooted however once you root your device and then all you need to do is enable magisk hide and now if i check for safety net you can see that safety net is passing after this you can also go into the magisk hide option here and make sure that magisk hide is enabled for play services then tap on search select show system apps and herein we need to search for play so if you search for play you should get the play store as well so let me search for play one more time so i have play services and the next option i am looking for over here is google play store tap on this enable your magic hide for the google play store as well and then go into your settings apps and see all apps here in three dot menu on the top right show system and here in again we need to search for the play option and then go into google play services and storage and cache 
manage space and delete all the data for this and similarly you can go into your google play store as well so let me search for play over here one more time google play store and same thing storage and cache clear storage tap on ok reboot your device and your device should be certified in the google play store which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works of course for picture and picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos what you get is storage saver which is higher quality unlimited or original which is going to count against your google account then with respect to your portrait light feature let me try to edit this picture wait for this loading bar to finish and now if i go into portrait i should have the feature of portrait light in fact i need to go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature present working without any issues super important thing to note over here is that it is only going to work on human objects if i try to edit a picture of my chicken friend portrait light is not going to work with respect to the assistant lady she is present and she is going to help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next thing we can have a look at is the app opening animations so here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see no jitters no lags in the ui everything is pretty smooth then let us have a look at our google feed to see if there are any jitters any lags do note we are at 120 right now as can be seen on the top left of your screen and everything is smooth no jitters and no lags with respect to your recents bam here are the recents again everything is pretty smooth and pretty fast let us check if select works yep select is working screenshot also works without any issues next up let us try to switch between a few applications and see if there are any lags or any jitters when you try to switch between application nope nothing like that everything is working absolutely fine in that regard as well so what can i say android 12 beta 5 running like a boss on the poco x3 pro all thanks to the awesome developers and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you